Hi everyone, welcome back or welcome to my channel if you're new here. My name is Monica. So for starters, I'm so sorry for being gone for so long. Um, I haven't really had any motivation, I guess you could say, to really film doing my makeup and everything. I barely even do my makeup as it is like on a regular, like when I'm at work and stuff like that. But I figured I would try to make a video again. Um, I have some free time today, I'm not really doing anything special so um i figured i would try to do my makeup first things first i already did my skin prep um i haven't put my primer on or anything yet but um i use my neutrogena hydro boost water gel and then for my under eyes i use my neutrogena hydro boost gel cream and then for today's foundation or actually first of all primer so i'm gonna go in with the why is this backwards um, with the Jelly Pop, the e.l.f. Jelly Pop Dew Primer. Okay, so I put about that much in my hand. Now, this isn't really going to be a tutorial per se. Um, I kind of just wanted to talk about why I've been gone, what I've been doing, any updates. So, for today's foundation, I'm going to choose between these three. I'm not really sure what shade I'm in currently because I did just self-tan. Um, a couple days ago. I think I might just mix these two. So for the Maybelline Fit Me, I have 310 Sun Beige. Sun Beige. And then for the Wet n Wild Photo Focus, I have Cream Beige. Alright, so the reason why I've been gone is because I have been moving back and forth, and not in a bad way, um, between houses because um, almost a year ago, my parents, well actually, probably about a year ago, my parents um, decided they wanted to build a house and to save up money for everything else. Like they literally sold just about everything and basically started off like brand new. I'm gonna be going in with this e.l.f. sponge. I'm not sure exactly what it's called, but I just got it today. I've been bouncing back and forth. I was living with my biological dad, um, for a little while and I say biological because I have a stepdad that I've known for years and I don't know I just find it easier to say my biological dad I guess anyway so yeah um, I lived with my bio dad for I want to say about three months that was not the best time for me um, I was also going to school at the same time so everything was just really hectic for me um, I initially, I was taking math, um, in person because I'm terrible at math and I didn't want to fail. So I decided to take it on, um, in person and I was taking it at the school that was nearest to me. Um, my school that I go to has a couple campuses, um, in each county. And I was going to the one that was in the county that was nearest to me. So it wasn't in my county, but it was the one that was closest to me at the time that I was living over there. Um, it was probably about, I would say like a 25 minute drive there, um, which isn't that far to me. Um, but then I ended up moving about 45 minutes away. I thought it a little bit more of the wet and wild. But I'm not sure if you guys know, but I do work night shift currently. I work, my schedule is really weird um, if you don't know it, but they alternate. So like, for example, I work Monday, Tuesday, 12 hours, and then I'm off Wednesday, Thursday, and then I work the weekend. So if you're a nurse or you work like in the medical field, I don't really know exactly how medical field schedules work, but I know nurses, like if you work in a hospital, the schedules are pretty much the same, I believe. So it's like, Monday, Tuesday, 12 hours, Wednesday, Thursday off, and then Friday, Saturday, Sunday, 12 hours. Um, and then the next week I'm off Monday, Tuesday, work Wednesday, Thursday, and then I'm off the weekend. So it kind of alternates every other week. It's the same though. It was really hard for me to transition um, from going to school over in the other county, which was a 45 minute drive, also while working night shift. So for example, I think my math class was scheduled for um, 1 o'clock to 2.45. So that would mean I would have to wake up about, I think it was like 
11 o'clock or 11 30 ish i'd have to leave my house by like 12 in order to get there just slightly early i wanted to get there at least 15 minutes ahead of time just in case um and then i would also get coffee sometimes sometimes so yeah i would have to leave my house by noon i would wake up and then i'd have to take out my dog feed her and everything um so i had to wake up about like 11 11 30 depending on how i felt that day um, the days I was off were a little bit easier than the days that I worked um, because I don't get off until 5 a.m. so I only have a little bit of time to sleep and then I get home from school around 3 ish um, and then I have to get ready for work and then I have to leave for work so I barely had enough time to sleep so it was really hectic um, I skipped a lot of classes just because I really needed sleep. I was really tired most of my days. Um, needless to say, I ended up failing that class. Anyway, so I'm going to go in with my Tarte Shape Tape in the color 22N Light Neutral. Yeah, that's what happened. I was taking three classes at the time as well because I wanted to try to challenge myself um, and of course finish school as fast as I could. Um, and it wasn't bad. I just think that I was so stressed at the time. Um, I also forgot to mention that my dad, don't ask, um, he didn't have any Wi-Fi, so it made it a lot harder to go about school. Um, I passed my other two classes, but I failed math mis miserably. Like, I was nowhere near passing. By the way, if I end up skipping anything that I'm putting on my face, I will link everything down below as usual. So if you want to know of anything I'm using, it will always be in the description box down below. I'm taking my Kylie Jenner um, translucent powder. I ended up moving out of my dad's house because I was honestly very miserable. I, I mean, I, I love him to death. I appreciate him letting me stay there and everything. It just, it really wasn't ideal for me and it wasn't good with my mental health. Not to mention, again, I work night shift and personally, I cannot do night shift. I've been working night shift for about, probably about two years now and I still have not gotten the hang of it. Like, I miss being on a regular day shift schedule with my family and being able to wake up with them at the same time, um, having weekends off with them. And you know, just being able to do normal human being stuff. So I have been pretty miserable, at least shift wise, for quite a while. And I also don't wanna go to day shift because the way that our schedules work is, if I go to day shift, I'd have to be at work by 5 a.m. So I'd have to wake up by 3 a.m. And I'm not a morning person like that. Um, I much rather deal with being on nights and trying to get myself up at a decent time on my days off than being even more miserable trying to wake up in the morning. It's I'm, it's just very hectic. Anyway, so yeah, I moved out of my dad's. I moved in with my aunt and uncle, which was a lot better. Um, I was a lot more happier. You could, you could just tell. I remember coming home one day and um, the way that my bedroom that I was sleeping in was set up is it, it wasn't initially a bedroom. I think it used to be like a lanai or something like that, but they turned it into a bedroom. So there was like a back door to go in t inside, like from the outside into the backyard where there was a pool. And I remember coming home one day from work and I just sat there for a second and appreciated it because it was also like during December and I live in Florida. So it was, it was slightly chilly. It wasn't like really cold, but it was just a little bit chilly. And um, I just sat there and I re actually recorded the pool and the steam coming up from how cold it was. And I remember feeling so happy that I was finally at a decent place with Wi-Fi. Um, yeah, and then I also ended up getting a PlayStation. And I started kind of, I don't, I mean, I'm not a gamer. I'm not calling myself a gamer at all. If you guys have watched any of my videos, I recorded like three gaming videos and they're 
terrible. I had just started, it was my first time ever. Um, but I wanted to record my progress over time. Um, I've definitely gotten a lot big, uh, better. So if you guys by chance want to see a video like that or any type of videos like that, gaming related, then let me know, of course. Um, I'm up for almost anything that you guys can recommend. When am I not getting a phone call while I'm recording a video? But anyways, needless to say, I have not been happy with where I work currently. So I ended up applying for a new job and I ended up getting it and more. Um, I will actually be starting a new job with um, radiology regionals as a medical assistant, which is something that is completely out of my comfort, comfort zone, completely different, completely new, and I'm actually very excited for this new adventure, this new step in my life, in my career. Um, by the way, speaking of career, I've been so stressed out about everything amongst everything I just told you guys, but that's another story for another time, like maybe a story time or something like that, or like just like a get to know me kind of video, I'm not sure. But anyways, if you guys want to, I can make a video more in depth about how I got the job and um, like more about the job once I actually start it and everything. Maybe I could try to do a little try on haul for um, scrubs. I know I love watching videos like that, at least, especially lately. Um, it's very helpful when you're trying to look for nice scrubs. Um, so yeah, if you guys would like to see a video like that or anything, just give this video a thumbs up or even leave a comment down below. So for my bronzer, I'm gonna be using the Wet n Wild bronzer in What Shady Beaches, I believe. That is why I've been so AWOL um, and not really creating any videos. That and I just, I'm telling you, I've been so miserable, I just haven't felt the motivation and the, basically just the motivation to even want to do my makeup. Like it's, it's really hard for me to go and decide to do my makeup because every time I'm like, hmm, maybe I should make a ma makeup video or maybe I should do this or maybe I should do that. Maybe I should just do my makeup for fun. I'm always like, but I hate putting mascara on. I hate doing my brows and then having to take it all off. And it's just, <laughs> I have the worst mindset right now. I mean, it's getting better. Um, I'm definitely getting better. Um, I don't know how my recording videos is gonna work after today because I will be starting my new job on the 17th. Today is the 7th, so in 10 days. Um, and then I will also be trying to go back to school again. I have not gone to school since um, last year, since everything that happened. So starting a new job is probably not a good idea, um, but I'm very impatient and I really, really wanna try to get school over with as soon as possible. Um, not that I even know what the heck I wanna do with my life right now, but I do really wanna try to get those out of the way. And I'm a very impatient person. For blush today, I'm gonna to be going in with the Milani, Milani Wild Rose, Rose Powder Blush. This is like my new favorite right now with my skin tone and everything. I freaking love this. Not sure what else I can tell you guys. Um, I do have a new boyfriend and very happy with where that's going and everything. I we've actually talked about trying to make a video um, one day. Maybe I could like do his makeup or something again. Leave me suggestions down below of what you guys would like to see between us. Maybe a Q and A. Probably not, not really, because I don't really have a lot of subscribers to like just go and ask me questions. For highlight, I'm gonna be going in with my Wet n Wild in Precious Petals. All right, and then I'm gonna go ahead and do my brows off camera. I'll be right back. I'm gonna go ahead and crimp my eyelashes really quickly. Okay, and now for mascara, I'm gonna try to, I'm gonna try between both of these two. I'm not really starting to like this anymore because it's very clumpy and it dries out pretty, pretty quickly. Um, but this one is also too liquidy and too runny and like the 
lightest sweat or oil that it gets on your eyes it starts to run and that's also not really my favorite so i'm going to try a little bit of both and see if i could like mix them a little bit i'm going to start off with this one it's the great lash um by maybelline in black is black all right now i'm going to go ahead and go in with my voluminous lash paradise by l'oreal and now what i'm going to do is i'm going to take an old mascara bottle um with these kind of brushes on them and I'm gonna just try to comb out my lashes just a little bit to make them less clumpy. I'm gonna go in with my Morphe Spiffy um, liner, lip liner. Now I'm gonna go in with my Jaclyn Hill Sophia lipstick. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. I really hope I informed you guys of everything that's been going on with me lately. Um, if you guys have any other questions or any comments, um, as always, leave them in the comments down below. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, as well as don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. Thanks. Bye.